Mm. Yo, what's going on, you guys? This is your boy RBG, aka the Random Black Gamer, here with me, myself, and I on the ones and twos, and this is We Ain't Seen It Reactions, the place where I react to everything I've never seen. And today we're switching things over and jumping into that gaming territory for another King of Iron Fist tournament. Tekken 8 character reveal trailer reaction. Uh, the last time we reacted to my girl Akaza Zina or something along those lines. I'm sorry, my Peruvian sucks in the way I enunciate things. But that character was off the chain and a welcomed addition. And I am just so happy that the Peru audience really loved that reveal. You know, like Peruvian people, they need love too. And a lot of old other cultures need love. And I am just thankful that um, Etsano is, uh, you know, kind of like bringing these characters over you know what i'm saying he's very open or not at sano harada um i always get this guy mixed up with somebody else but um harada he's open to bringing new characters over and this guy right here victor is somebody special i feel like he's gonna be representative of a specific culture he looks very western and a european you know he has this dapper suit on and stuff and he look like he gonna mean business i know um my man harada already laid out the details over on twitter but i'm gonna wait to see exactly what this guy is because that's a part of the surprise element that i really enjoy about these just seeing how these guys are his name is victor and he will whoop your ass so um let's see what his trailer is gonna entail Nice shot of Kazuya and Jean. You see how the announcer's got to pronounce his name. Because this is the best part of the trailer, the damn announcer. Ooh! Yacht Life. Okay, so he loves the finer things in life. And we in Paris, too. Okay, yeah, he's French. He's French. Let's get it. <laughs> Oh, he got a sword. And a blade. Damn, he has a lot going on right now. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> this dude is like John Wick. And he got a blade too? Shit. Wow, he's like a fucking posh ninja. Hey. Oh, that's a nice little mix up, yeah. A little command grab. Ah, yeah, he's a ninja. That's no other way of putting it. He is a ninja. Shit. <laughs> I like how he mixes it in with the pistol too. Fuck. Hey. Sheesh. I wonder what element that is he has on him though. Okay, so he's a part of Raven's organization? Oh, yeah. He's gonna make an example out of you, bro. Sheesh. It's like French John Blick over here. Alright, show me a stage transition. Can you go to the lower floor of the yacht? Damn. He cracking that thing open. Ha <laughs> ha I feel like I'm watching a damn talk show with this music. It's like a talk show theme. Yes. Yeah, okay, Rage Art. Oh my god, Metal Gear Rising Revenge is anyone? Shit! My goodness. Shit, and he got the clip on one handle. Add that to a keychain right there. Tonight on Jay Leno. We're gonna fist pump till we can't pump anymore, damn it. Yo, France, how y'all feeling, y'all? How y'all feeling about this trailer, man? This character, he looks like the bomb.com, man. He got a lot going on, man. It's like he's simple yet unique at the same time, you know what I'm saying? Because one thing that I've noticed about these Tekken trailers and these characters that they're introducing, some of them have these very sci-fi techno get-ups, you know what I'm saying? I'm not sure if there's like a divide between these different factions. Um, Raven, he has a very sci-fi... A uh, cyberpunk get up that looks like something that was ripped out of Ghost in the Shell. And this guy right here, you know, he kind of has something similar going on. I think another character that has that too. I haven't 
done a reaction to this trailer because I've already seen it. But the reveal trailer that we got for the handful of other characters like Devil Jean. Um, I remember Lee Chow Lang. He has on a similar suit too. And I'm wondering if he's part of the same uh, regime because everybody just has these sci-fi gets uh, get ups on. You know what I'm saying? Jack. Jack 8. He has a, a similar suit on. Um, I'm not sure if that's indicative of the organization that they're with. Or it's just like the design motif that um, Namco Bandai and all the uh, concept artists they're going with. But it's cool nonetheless. And this guy right here, he's very cool. It seems like the John Wick hype and the Equalizer. Stuff like that where we see a lot of CQC and close quarters combat. That's been a big thing that's kind of like caused like a, a big ripple effect in the pop culture genre. You know, in the movie genre where... We just love seeing these ridiculous shoot 'em up movies where it's just like this one man army taking all this damage, but somehow they're able to walk away. You know, they're able to walk away after dropping so many bodies that put the Chirac Savages to shame. You know what I'm saying? Maybe they need to introduce a Chirac Savage up in this. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to provoke any kind of violence or anything like that. You know, like, but you guys get what I mean though. They always have those ridiculous characters that are like, way bad you know like fucking you know keanu reeves he is a national treasure at the end of the day but do you really expect me to believe that a guy with 87 year old knees can walk away unscathed for like three or four movies you know what i'm saying and he's always falling down shit like he's not falling down like four stories of a building he's go falling down stairs and having to go all the way back up just to get to the final boss you know stuff like that where but you know it, it is cool i like the way this guy mixes it up with the blades you know he has two blades one being like a um shorthand blade and this sword i'm not sure if it's like a high frequency blade something on the same uh vein as metal gear solid Re uh, revengeance if you guys are familiar with that franchise not even a franchise, but um, a game that's featured in the Metal Gear Solid franchise uh, where the blade can essentially just vibrate so fast and at a high level of uh, frequency that it can manipulate mo molecules and cut through it. You know, is it one of those blades? Who knows? This guy seems like he's in the upper echelon of whatever organization that Raven is from, though. You know, he's like he knows Raven. He's associated with him. But he's one of those guys that's more covert. You know, he's he's um, he's out there in the fields and, you know, he, he look like he on his Bluetooth, but he really out there doing work. He putting in a lot of work, man. But yeah, the French audience, they are eating. I am happy for you guys. I think Victor is another welcomed addition to the Tekken franchise and hopefully a character that they really just do right, you know, because sometimes when they have these characters, they're all hyped up and then we find out how busted they are or how lackluster they are. It's like there's always been this kind of like imbalance when it comes to these new introductions, you know, because I remember when we got Leroy, everybody was hyped about having a Wayne Chun master. But he turned out to be very broken and a cheap character that just cheesed his way to the top of that upper echelon of fighters. And people were kind of afraid to even grab the character because they was going to be saying that, oh, yeah, you're a trash player if you pick Leroy, you know. And hopefully that um, Akzuna chick, she isn't the same. And this guy, he's definitely not in that same realm, you know. I hope everybody is balanced out and they play fairly. But, yeah, guys. Really happy about this character. He looks sleek. He looks cool. You know, only thing that was missing is that he would have been voiced by Keanu Reeves or had a Keanu Reeves skin. I think that would be the icing on a top on the top of a delicious cake. You know what I'm saying? But um, let me know your thoughts on this guy. Do you like him? Do you love him? Uh, is there anything that you would add to him? Um, and the France audience, show your boy some love up in the comments, man, because I really, really like seeing from the audience that these characters are dedicated to you know i was happy when a peruvian audience showed up for akzuna or however you say her name you know i'm i got a lot of blood on my hands guys when it comes to like butchering these names <laughs> but yeah um if there's anything that you want to add to the comment section or talk about what you like about this character do so in the comment section below without you know being negative and if there's anything that i mean i missed or misconstrued by all means provide some proper context to those things but anyways this is your boy rbg aka the random black gamer we ain't seen the reactions hopefully i'll see you guys in another uh, trailer for 
Tekken 8. Peace.